Okay, so, hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I just want to say thank you everybody for 2,000 subscribers. Like, seriously, did not expect to ever get this many subscribers, this many people wanting to see my reactions. Uh, it's, um, it's very cool. Seriously, I, uh, I wouldn't be here without everybody uh, cheering me on, uh, saying nice things, uh, you know, suggesting cool music for me to listen to. Um, so I just want to say thank you to everybody, and especially the patrons. Seriously, thank you so much. Uh, you know, I just started about, what, like a month ago, and uh, I already have about 15 patrons right now. And, uh, you know, just really excited to see where we go from here. Uh, on the road to 3,000, right? That's the next goal for uh, subscribers. So, uh, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing, everybody. Uh, keep liking the videos. Keep um, watching. Uh, keep commenting. I really appreciate everything that everybody's doing. Uh, I appreciate all the help you guys give me in the comments regarding the uh, musicians that I listen to, the info, info about them, the information, their backstories. I love a good backstory on a musician. Um, you know, I learned a lot about Rush over the past month, two months. Gosh, when did my first Rush reaction go up? I think it was Limelight. Yeah, no, um, it's been so long. It's actually, it actually hasn't been that long. It's, uh, you know, I'm going to have to go back and see when I uploaded my first uh, Rush reaction. You know, I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to do that right now while I'm talking with you. Because, uh, yeah, this is what the video is going to be. It's just going to be me talking, saying thank you, looking up when my own videos were uploaded, getting nostalgic over my own videos. Uh, no, seriously, I, um, I'm very happy to be here, very happy to have such a, a big fan base come and greet me and welcome me into the fan base as well. I am now a Rush fan, and uh, I still haven't heard most of Rush's uh, discography, so I'm really excited to continue my Rush journey. Um, so we're just going to look up real quick when my... Um, when my limelight video went live two months ago and it has 7.6k uh views uh 7600 views and i'm really just so appreciative uh i never thought anybody would um, take my videos seriously so i really appreciate it and uh i do have something coming uh in regards to um what music i am producing on the side so also i want to do a little uh, clearing the air right now. Some people have asked me, you know, what instruments do you play? What music uh, influenced you? And uh, so I'm here to tell you a little story. I uh, started playing guitar when I was 12 years old. My mom got me my first acoustic when uh, I turned 12. So on my 12th birthday, I got my first uh, Austin acoustic guitar. It's this beautiful, like a ruby red color. Um, uh, and I grew up listening to, uh, like, mainly uh, bands like Green Day, Linkin Park, um, you know, 2000s popular things. Uh, Blink-182 came a little bit later uh, in the timeline. So it was mainly, like, Green Day, um, uh, Linkin Park. Uh, what else was I listening to at 13, 14 I started listening to like older stuff when I turned 14. I started listening to Queen. Now Queen is really what got me in a in a interesting mental headspace, showing me how diverse music can be with uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. I was a huge fan of Bohemian Rhapsody when I first heard it when I was like 14. Uh, it just blew me and my friends' minds away. Like we couldn't even believe what we were hearing, uh, and it just sparked this creative uh inside of me and um i've always just wanted to make really interesting music and uh yeah so uh, i got my first guitar at 12 and then um i got my uh first electric when i was about 15 uh but let's let's 
go back just a little bit. Um, I took some lessons when I first got my acoustic guitar, but um, I didn't stick with the lessons. Uh, it was a lot of money at the time, and my um, you know, my family didn't uh have the most money, and also I just couldn't uh stick uh with like uh sitting down and uh paying attention for too long. I I, I had attention issues when I was younger, and I uh, I still do, and uh, so I mainly just got online and looked up uh, tablatures to songs. You know, I learned reading tabs. Uh, so, um, yeah, mainly uh, self-taught a lot of the way, but I did learn the basics. You know, I learned some chords, some basic chords, A, E, D, uh, C, uh, G, um, you know, <laughs> uh, the, the major chords. Um, and I learned a few of the minor chords as well, but um, uh, none of them really uh, stuck with me. Uh, so I have a, a little bit of foundational guitar teaching on my side. Uh, so jumping forward a bit again, um, it is now 15 years old. I have my first electric guitar. It's an Ibanez uh, G series. Um, and uh, I was very happy. It's a very good guitar. It still is functioning very well over there. Um, it has stickers all over it. Uh, and it was a beautiful blue, like an emerald, wait, emeralds like a green, whatever, whatever is a, the blue stone. It's, it's very like bluish, uh, uh, as your, I don't know, dude, what's a blue stone? Tell me in the comments. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I played, uh, electric guitar for a while and I was just, in love with it you know the distortion that i could put out that was just so cool to me it's like i was making these noises it's a lot like the uh the part in 2112 where alex lifeson discovers a, a guitar <laughs> uh it was a lot like that you know this beautiful instrument makes noise and i can make it distorted dude that was so awesome to me uh i was very happy um and then a little bit after this time, I uh, switched uh, high schools. So I changed high schools um, at this time. And uh, at this new school, I started taking uh, piano lessons. So I learned a little bit of a fundamental uh, piano as well. So, uh, you know, I learned a lot of the basic songs, uh, Jingle Bells, uh, Hot Cross Buns. Uh, and then uh, uh, we started learning some uh, tougher songs, but I can't remember any names, you know, some, uh, some Beethoven, um, you know, name some, uh, beginner Beethoven songs you could learn. Uh, but again, um, I didn't really stick with, uh, the fundamental, uh, teachings from, uh, from the teachers. I ended up switching out of that school as well. And, uh, you know, uh, it's been a recurring theme in my life where I bounce from place to place, um, uh, getting into a little bit more backstory about me, uh, parents divorced when I was very young. So, uh, you know, bouncing from house to house was normal to me. So bouncing from environment to environment was different for me. It was, um, it's not different. It's, a. Uh, it was just a thing I went through bouncing from place to place, uh, never feeling stationed in a, in a single place. And, uh, I know my mom's going to be watching this. So I love you, mom. You did nothing wrong. You did everything perfect. I love you. Thank you so much for the love and upbringing you gave me. I appreciate you. And I'm sorry I don't see you enough. <laughs> I need to go see my mom. Everybody in the comments say, go see your mom. Uh, go see your mom, John. <laughs> uh, no, but thank you. I really, uh, I love my mom. I love both my parents. You know, they did everything they could to make me and my brother happy truly appreciative um yeah so uh so going back to my um to why this is relevant at all i mean it's my life you know i'm doing a video about my life so it's it's relevant um uh it's just part of my uh mentality to never like stick with something even if it's like uh educational or foundational so um you know, I just find myself later in life wanting to relearn things. So here I am relearning music 
and getting back into recording. I, you know, I've taken a few breaks over the years and uh, I've just started to make reactions to music videos because it's just what I love. And I love talking to other people about music and learning about music. And I'm learning a lot from your comments. You know, everybody uh, is very supportive and uh, wants to help out with uh, me learning these artists' lives and uh, how they create these tracks. Um, yeah, no, I still have a long way to go in my education. Uh, so I'm very thankful to be surrounding myself with fellow musicians, uh, people who just like to make music and who appreciate uh, these vibrations that these artists have given us. Uh, so yeah, um, I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, you know, um, what else can I talk about? I know I wrote down some things to talk about. Uh, what instruments do you, oh, what instruments do you play? Um, you know, I play keyboards, guitar, uh, bass, um, uh, I play drums a little bit, but I don't have a drum kit. I would love a drum kit someday. Uh, my ultimate plan is to actually rent out a studio, right? And uh, get a full music uh, situation going on. Uh, I want all the gear, you know, guitars, bass, drum. And I just want to go to town recording my own music, dude. Like, you know, I do that already in my room, but it's not comfortable in here. Uh, I need... um. I need more room, you know, to fit all my equipment that I want. So that's my current uh, saving status. That's what I'm saving for, you know, a studio to make my own music uh, without disrupting my uh, roommates, my brother and my father, you know. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, so everybody is really helping uh, making my dreams come true. And I'm glad that I can share uh, this uh, journey with everybody. My musical journey, my... Um, discovery of this amazing band rush and uh other amazing bands and artists to follow and uh you know anybody who's sticking around uh just be prepared for me to like start branching out and uh not only do like classic rock you know um in order to get uh more support for uh, my patreon so that i can keep doing this uh, i'm probably gonna have to branch out into some other genres like rap uh obviously we can check out uh, some jazz, uh, some uh, native bands as well, some native artists in general, you know, um, anything really, like anything, anything, you know. Uh, so just uh, be prepared for a new uh, group of fans to come from somewhere, you know. I'll be doing random reactions, uh, you know. Uh, BTS has been on my mind uh, I know they're already super popular, and I know my uh, fan base is probably not gonna like uh, like it so much that I do like a BTS song or some uh, you know rap songs or hip hop. Uh, but hey, that's the nature of the beast. I like all music, so why would I just you know only listen to one genre? Um, you know, I'm a multifaceted person, and. Uh, you know, I like to attract lots of people, so I hope everybody is on board, and if you're not, I'm sorry. I will still keep doing classic rock. Classic rock is, like, still a big part of my life. You know, um, other influences I forgot to mention. Uh, Boston, Styx, uh, Come Sail Away, um, uh, what else? Uh, Led Zeppelin, huge, huge influence. You know, I got, I got into Led Zeppelin around the same time as I got into uh, Queen, and, uh, yeah, you know, I played Rock Band, the video game, and uh, Guitar Hero. Um, so a lot of the songs in there I was a big fan of. Uh, oh, uh, Sweet Child of Mine, Guns N' Roses, great song. Free Bird, great song. Uh, Green Grass and High Tides, great song, big fan. Uh, it's been a while since I've listened to that one. We could revisit that one, actually. Green Grass and High Tides. Uh, I remember that song being an epic um, but yeah, you know, uh, I'm a fan of everything, dude. And, uh, we got to open the channel up a little bit. Um, so sorry if it's not your thing, but Hey, we're about to see something. We're about to see something different. Uh, all right.
I think that's going to do it for the channel. I mean, channel. That does it for this video. <laughs> and we can't end the video without thanking the patrons who make this all possible. Here's a shout out to the gold tier patrons Adam Sanford, HRH King Lurks, Joseph Wilger, Onyxia, and Thomas Wyatoff. Thank you. And here are the rest of the patrons on the screen. Thank you very much. Really. Couldn't do this without you. Thank you. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, how'd you like just this one take? One take of a video. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, if you want early uploads, go and check out my Patreon. If you want to help support the channel, check out my Patreon. And also leave a like and a subscribe if you want to see more. So I will talk to y'all in the next one. Thanks for hanging out. Peace.